Here's what's happening on Junos Connect. Lost your phone with all of your valuable data? Don't worry, the Junos Pulse Mobility Suite is to the rescue. And we'll take you into space. Junos space, that is, with a live demo to explore an indispensable app called Network Activate. Hi, I'm Cara Boy. Welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. Let's start with what's happening around Juniper. We just keep giving away iPads, and here's another opportunity to win yours. Become a JNet member and submit your best Junos tips, techniques, or templates to the Day One contest. You just may get published in a Day One book and earn some great prizes on the way. Also, be sure to check out the latest Day One book available in print and electronic format. It's called Configuring SRX Series with JWeb. This book shows you how you can use JWeb, a GUI management tool that ships with every SRX, to access, navigate, and configure your device. And finally, we're still looking for network configurations to add to the JNet library, so keep them coming. Remember, go to forums.juniper.net to submit your entry and be entered to win an iPad. What happens if your smartphone is lost or stolen? How do you ensure your data information aren't lost with it? And what Junos Pulse can help them do is manage the... Coming up next, hear about how Junos Pulse defends your mobile life. It's our one year anniversary and we want you to help us celebrate. Send in your favorite memories and moments from the last year and we'll play them during the show with your name on screen. Submit your entries to jnet at juniper.net and say happy birthday to Junos Connect. Welcome back to Junos Connect, your video source for all things Junos. I'm Kara Suboy. Viruses, malware, loss, theft, physical compromise, there are so many threats to your smartphone and privacy. How do you protect them? Joining us today is Greg Maudsley to talk about a Juniper solution that offers protection for smartphones. Thanks for joining us, Greg. Oh, thanks, Kara. And can you tell us a little bit more about the Junos Pulse mobile security suite and some of its benefits? Yeah, sure. So let's take a step back okay. uh, to October of last year when we introduced Junos Pulse to the market. And Junos Pulse was a converged client for right. Windows-based laptops that offered secure connectivity, mm -hmm. network access control, as well as application acceleration in a single converged client. Right. Then in February of this year, we announced the extension of the footprint of Junos Pulse to the smartphone. Uh -huh. In particular, that was secure connectivity via our SSL VPN solution. So October of this year brings us to a further extension of the footprint for security on the mobile devices via Junos Pulse. And that was with the introduction of the Junos Pulse mobile security suite. Uh, which offers antivirus, anti-spam, personal firewall, loss and theft protection, as well as parental controls. That's a really complete suite of features. That's great. And who would you say is really going to benefit from this suite? So three groups. Okay. The first is enterprise. Uh, and enterprises today are completely overwhelmed with a number of personal devices that are sneaking onto the network. Yeah. And not so much concerned with the threats that they pose from a malware or a virus perspective. Sure. Um, but more so with what's happening to the intellectual property that's being stored on the personal device. Devices. And with uh, the introduction of features like loss and theft protection, which give you remote lock, remote wipe, backup, restore, and GPS locate, now IT administrators are able to take action in the event that a cell phone is lost or stolen. Which I'm sure happens all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. That's Absolutely. Great. And the second group are service providers who can now bundle portions of the Junos Pulse mobile security suite into service, as service offerings for either consumers or enterprises. If for an enterprise, it can offer the same types of things that we've talked about. If for consumers, they can also provide loss, theft protection, as well as things like parental control. And finally, consumers are going to benefit from this. Yeah. Because as a customer of a service provider, you can now use things like parental control to help keep your kids safe using their mobile devices to connect with uh, their friends and other uh, public sites, social media sites. Yeah, that's great. And is this uh, security security suite available across all platforms now? Yeah, so okay. we, we offer support for BlackBerry, for Symbian, uh, for Android, for Windows Mobile, and we will offer support for uh, Apple iPhone in the first half of 2011. Very exciting. Thank you so much, Greg. Thanks, Carl. For more information, you can visit the Junos Pulse section of the Juniper website. Has managing MPLS service resources become a nightmare? So I'll go directly to the service provisioning. Okay. Well, coming up next, we'll show you how to automate with a simple point-and-click tool. Want to win a free iPad? You can't win if you don't join JNet. As a JNet member, you get access to premium programs like free Juno's Day One book downloads, plus access to the new configuration library where you can find network configuration examples submitted by other Juniper users. 
And if you submit one of your own configurations, you'll be entered to win a free iPad. So what are you waiting for? Become a JNet member today. Welcome back to Genos Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. Wouldn't it be great to be able to easily activate a customer multi-site VPN with a simple point-and-click tool? Well, today we have Bijou Nair to tell us about how the Juno Space app Network Activate fulfills that need. Thanks for joining us, Bijou. Thanks, Kara. And let's get started. Why don't you explain what Network Activate is? So Network Activate is a service provisioning application mm -hmm. within the Juno Space family, okay. primarily focusing on the carrier Ethernet market. And if I may add, it's a product which has been designed from the ground up to address some of the customer pain points while deploying these services in a better way. So give us some examples of how the customer is really going to benefit from this app. So Network Activate primarily automates all the steps leading up to this service deployment. Okay. So starting with net network discovery, resource management, the service provisioning, as well as the validation making it extremely simple for any customer who wants to deploy these services. Great. Well, why don't you show me how it works? I'd love to see a demo. Okay. So let me start off with the network application platform. This shows the applications which are installed in this particular server. Uh -huh. I'll click on this network activate. Great. So I know I'm playing with the UI right now, but we also have network um, APIs which can be integrated to the service application, so with the OSS application. Next step is to... So I'll go directly to the service provisioning. Okay. And I will click on the manage service orders. Mm -hmm. And as an example, I'll pick on the VPLS service order. Okay. And it gives me a set of templates which is pre-canned and available, but the customers can also customize Create new templates. New templates based on their need. Yeah. So I select the ELAN dot one Q single VLAN VPLS. Okay. Click on the next. Mm -hmm. And I name it. It's give called Juno's Connect, how about? Okay. Juno's Connect it is. Okay. And there are some pre built customer names already there, but you know you can uh, they can own. create your own. I just select Coke. Okay. And I click next. So far, just a few, a few clicks. A few clicks. And then it gives me the devices which is available for deploying that particular uh, service definition. Okay. And I select the endpoints. These are the two devices, mm -hmm. New York and London. Mm -hmm. Click on Next. And it gives me the interfaces available to provision that particular service. Great. With that, I just click Create. And it gives me the option whether to save Schedule deployment at a later date or deploy now. Okay. So we're gonna I select the deploy now. Deploy now. Click That's OK. That's great. You could schedule in the future. That's future a huge too. time saver. And gives me the job ID. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I click on the job ID, and it should tell me whether it's succeeded or not. It's still going through the process of to deploying sure. the service. And so, so if you had multiple jobs, they'd all just line up right there on that page. You can watch them. Yes. Work. That's great. And it'll give you the status and the progress bar. Mm -hmm. So it says the progress is 100% right now. OK. And I click on the details. Yep. It says the status London success. and whether it was a New success York or success. a failure. So that seems that so simple. It's an extremely simple tool for any service provider or other customers to use. So where can our viewers get more information about Network Activate? We have the Juno Space product page within the juniper.net. Okay. Great. And that's where the users can get all the information about Network Activate. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Bijou. Appreciate Thanks, it. Kara. And viewers, if you like what you just saw, you can join Bijou for a live webcast coming up in December. Well, that's it for this episode. I'm Kara Suboy. We'll see you next time right here on Juno's Connect.